Right, I'm going to make a little phone call. It's phone call number two to Northampton County Court Bulk Centre. I'm going to ask them a couple of questions that I forgot to ask before. So here we go. The number if you want to call is 0300 123 1056. And you need to press option six. Hmm. Perhaps far too many people have been calling them over the last week since we last called them. Here we go. Press option six. They're busy because you lot's calling them. We are currently experiencing high call volume, and as such, you may experience longer than normal wait times. To speak to one of our operators. Mm. Well, I wonder why. Normally, you get straight through and pick the phone up straight away. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. All our advisors are currently busy. Your what have we done? So we're twelfth in the queue. Yeah. Oh, we're going to give this. Uh, we'll, we'll try them another day. But basically, I'm going to ask them what bailiffs they use. If you don't pay, what bailiffs do they use? And of course, we know already because we are currently experiencing high call volumes, and as such, you may experience longer than normal wait times. To speak to one of our operators. And uh, yeah, basically, we know what bailiffs they use because a mate of mine had got a bailiff's letter this morning and he was flapping about like a big bird. And I just told him what to do. I mean, what would you do if the bailiffs come round your house? All our advisors they wouldn't. Are no, never they have. don't come round his house because they, they know what they get. Still to us. You'll hang up. Yeah, we'll hang up. So uh, that's still to come. Uh, to just stop calling the uh, Northampton County Court Bulk Centre because we can't get through to their customer services. Or, or start calling them more. Yeah. Or in the morning, jam their jam their uh, jam their lines, but yeah, we're going to ask them about what bailiffs they use, and they they're going to tell us. We already know that they use Jacobs and Equator, mm. and these are third-party interlopers. And when they come to your house, what are they after? Money. Mm. So they ask you for your name. So would you give your name and your details to somebody? You realise that your details are very valuable, don't you? Mm. What's so, your name? What is not my name? Oh, there you go. Who are you? I'm not who. Who do you think I am? Who are you? I've no idea. Oh. Correct. That's correct, yeah. So you can have a lot of fun with this, but lose the fear, people. Mm -hmm. Don't let them, if they say that they're going to clamp your car and they're going to take it away, you remember that you're the registered keeper, you're not the registered owner. Mm. Right? The DVLA, PLC, Private Limited Corporation, owns your car. The, or the car that you paid for. I tell you, you what, don't own it. because we're not doing the call, what we could do is point out for those that want to go and check these things out on Dun and Bradstreet, it's not quite the way it works. Do you want to explain to them? Well, it doesn't work. <laughs> How the fact that if you, if, if you go to .co.uk, if you go to Dun and Bradstreet .co.uk. Oh, yeah, I've noticed if you go to Dun and Bradstreet .co.uk and you say you type in your local uh, police station, like. Uh, oh. Or, or local city council. Or city council. If you type that in, police it says, force. Police force. It says no search re reveals. No, nothing was. Well, what did they say? What did it say the other nothing day? Nothing found. Nothing found. Yeah, your search revealed nothing. But if you go to dnb.com and it's a forward slash, you go to the company search. Just go to dnb.com. -D onto their main page and you can search for corporations and they search worldwide. You have to say if you're in the UK, you have to select the UK and then you put in the name of your favourite council or favourite police force, your favourite authority that's trying to remove money from you and lying and deceiving. Your favourite corporation. Your favourite corporation, just to make sure they are, they are a registered corporation. We've got loads in an envelope in a car. Mm. Print and, it out. Uh, we're going to do a little thing about that. For future that. use. Oh, it's, it's interesting to note, actually, speaking about that, there's Northampton County Court Bulk Centre. Mm. 
right, is not a registered corporation, but it comes under Northampton County Court. Right, this is Dunstan Street, Brad Street credit report there, you can see. Yeah, company results, right? And Northampton County Court and the bulk centre are actually called the Court Service Service Agency. Right? And that's another private corporation with lots of shareholders. So I did a report on dnb.com. You can see that. Search for Court Service Agency. And they the Court Service Agency own all the the um, not the real you know the rubber stamping places as well as the courts. Mm. Although there are some courts that are private corporations themselves. Nottingham is for one. Yes. Nottingham County Court is. Anyway. Interestingly, while we're on that subject, if you do search on Nottingham County Court, which is actually in Nottingham Crown Court, even though they're in the same building, they have two totally different postcodes. Hmm. Amazing. Me think something dodgy going on there. <coughs> of course they're all in the corrupt, they're all in a big club of take. And they, they need your name in order for you to contract. So they need that number that's on your gravestone, i.e. the birth certificate, because when you're born and you register, you register to the, 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 that you're dead. Mm, yeah. So basically, when they come to your house, people, what, what should you do? You take it away. If they but, come to your house, you shouldn't give your... Name. Why would you want to give your name? <clears throat> because if you give the name, then you make a contract. Now, here's because they're after money. Here's where you've got to be careful, though. If you say, am I obliged to give you that name? A lot of the time they will lie and say yes. Well, if you go to a, 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 police, a police constable and ask, am I, obli are I obliged to give you your name? Or any details. They'll say no. No. Nobody So does. what makes a private interloper any different or any more powerful than a police constable doesn't. In fact, they've got even less power. So when they try lying to you and saying you have to give your name by law, which law is that then? And while we're on the subject, can you tell me which law actually <coughs> states I even have to have a name? Hmm. Oops, it's making eyes at the people. Mm. Yeah, so uh, I, I just want people to lose the fear because mm. I've got people calling me up, oh mate, I've got the bailiffs, they're going to take my car. I say, you do realise that you don't own the car, the mm. DVLA own the car, okay? Right, so register your car in your mum's name or your daughter's name or whatever and go and park it round, round the corner on a different street until they stop leaving you alone. Because you'd, you'd think if they actually put a clamp on your car and then picked it up and towed it away, you'd think that was theft, wouldn't you? Mm. Well, why isn't it? Jacobs and Equator know that this is not theft. They own Because they, they've got the details from the council, who've got the details from the DVLA, who are the owners. You're the only registered keeper. You're not the registered owner. Look at the document, the V5, it doesn't say that you're the owner. And um, basically, you just have to hide what you've paid for. It's their property. And um, put an implied rights of access on the uh, thing. You can get that from Get Out of Debt Free. Or change the... the no who, trespass. Ch change who is the keeper. Yeah. And uh, stop parking on double yellow lines. Stop driving in the bus lanes. Because you know what happens. They, they want to make money from, the, from you, the name. But just, just lose the fear, people. Anyway... Sorry we didn't get through today, but I think we did in some other way, didn't we? Mm. Northampton County Court Bulk Centre. Using bailiffs. You look on their website, it's, it's like even got a bailiff's office. Mm. In fact, did I write the bailiff's office number down? If anybody wants to call Northampton County Bulk Centre, by the way, the name to speak to is the claims manager, the chap that does the rubber stamping. His name's Mr John Alden, if you've got any queries. But it looks like their lines are jammed up at the moment and everybody else is making lots of phone calls, probably due to our phone call. <laughs> be well, everybody. Just just don't have any fear. If you, if you don't know what to do, do a little bit of homework. Have a look on Get Out of Debt Free and the forums and stuff. And uh, including you trolls. If you get cancer or health like that, including you police and you trolls and you MI6. If you get cancer, or your kids or your family get cancer, we can also help you. Mm. You know, love love one, for are we not all one consciousness? Get in the health section on Get Out of Debt and you can find out about all these... Not... Alleviation. Yes, yes, because we don't want to fall foul of any acts, do we? No, no we don't. <laughs> want, there's no cures for anything, they're just alleviations. Yes. But you can either, you can take all the crap and die, or you can uh, help yourself, empower yourself. We'll be back.
guaranteed. Big love. Much love.